So brand new gameplay just dropped for Borderlands 3 thanks to a new trailer and it's amazing. So we're going to be talking about all new information, stuff that is 100% confirmed, including the release date. The official release date was revealed. It is going to be September 13th, 2019. So that's no speculation there. That is official uh, for the release date, September 13th, 2019. Plus, we're going to be talking about the season pass, which was revealed. Go over that real quick. We're going to be talking about brand new information about the characters. Uh, we're also going to be talking about weapon manufacturers, which they were officially revealed all the weapon manufacturers in the game with teases as to what each weapon will be able to do. And then all the pre-order editions. So a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, we're going to talk about the Deluxe Edition, Collector's Edition, Super Deluxe Edition, and so much more. But let's get to the brand new information first and foremost. I know you guys are curious about the Season Pass. So this is what it says here. The Season Pass will include four campaign DLC packs featuring new stories, missions, and challenges of the Butt Stallion Weapon Skin, Butt Stallion Weapon uh, Trinket, Butt Stallion Grenade Mod. And then it says, Continue your Borderlands 3 adventure with the Season Pass featuring exclusive cosmetic items and four story campaign add-ons. With new missions and challenges, the content is included with the purchase of the Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe Edition and Borderlands 3 Collector's Edition. All Season Pass DLC will be available by September 2020. So, uh, there you have it right there about the Season Pass. But I know you guys are also curious about what the website had to say as well as we take a look at this brand new gameplay in the background. Uh, it goes on to say this, the original looter shooter returns packing bazillions of guns in an all new mayhem fueled adventure blasts through the new worlds and enemies as one of four brand new vault hunters, the ultimate treasure seeking badasses of the borderlands, each with deep skill trees, abilities and customization. Play solo or join with friends to take on insane enemies, score loads of loot and save your home from the most ruthless cult leaders in the galaxy. Sounds like a good time to me. Then it says a mayhem fueled thrill ride Stop the fanatical Calypso twins from uniting the bandit clans and claiming the galaxy's ultimate power. Once you, a thrill seeking vault hunter, have the arsenal and allies to take them down. Uh, furthermore, it says this your vault hunter, your playstyle. Become one of four extraordinary vault hunters, each with unique abilities and playstyles, deep skill trees, and tons of personalization options. All vault hunters are capable of awesome mayhem alone, but together they are unstoppable. Uh, so, yeah, some cool details. They are for sure. And then we have the character reveals, which in the trailer they showcased Amara here. Now, who is Amara? It says this. Amara is the Siren, a confident, capable brawler with the ability to summon Ethereal Fists. Amara uses her Siren powers to smash her enemies. So that is what uh, she's going to be doing on the battlefield. So she's basically CQC up close and personal big time. Uh, also, guys, I wanted to mention, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notification icon. I have you absolutely covered about all things Borderlands 3. I'm going to be covering this game consistently and constantly. I won't let you down. But also, we have Moe's, and it says this about uh, her. It says, Moe's the gunner. Uh, when Moe's needs backup, she digestructs uh, her mech, Iron Bear, for a sucker punch of additional firepower. So... A lot of the rumors, as you could see previously, are coming true about the character. So it's awesome to see that you can call him this Titan-like mech, like almost like from Titanfall, and have uh, you know that at your disposal. But it seems like also from the rumors, you'll be able to have someone climb on board with you eventually as you upgrade your mech. Next up, we have Flak. It says this, Flak, as the Beastmaster, Flak lives for the hunt, so, the, so do the loyal beasts that follow their master's every command. Their preferred prey, unsuspecting bandits, those poor suckers. You'll notice they mention, uh, you know, the pets. It's plural here. The beast, the loyal beast, plural. So, yes, looks like you will be able to choose between three, according to the rumors, and you'll take one with you on the battlefield. So, yeah, the rumors, again, are coming true here. Then we have Zane. It says this about him. He's going to be the operative specializing in battlefield gadgetry. Zane is extremely proficient at slipping into combat, creating chaos, and sneaking back out as if he were never there sneaky 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 uh, also there were additional details about weapons it says with the zillions of guns and gadgets every fight is an opportunity to score new gear firearms with self-propelling bullet shields uh check rifles that spawn fire spewing volcanoes obviously guns that grow legs and chase down enemies while hunting uh hurling verbal <laughs> insults yeah got that too so it sounds like guns will be actually 
uh, insulting people verbally as well. That's going to be freaking hilarious. This is new Borderlands. Discover new worlds beyond Pandora, each featuring unique environments to explore and enemies to destroy. Tear down, tear through, excuse me, hostile deserts. Battle your way across war torn cityscapes. Navigate deadly bayous and more. So, yeah, totally hyped about all that. You know, to hear that there's multiple worlds gets me hyped. But if there is going to be co op, of course, says. Play with anyone at any time online or in split screen co-op regardless of your level or mission progress uh take down enemies and challenges as a team but reap rewards uh that are yours alone no one misses out on loot so no one's going to be missing out on loot because sounds like it's going to be very instant based and you're not going to be able to steal loot from one another but robbie tell us more about that loot tell us more about weapon manufacturers so yes we knew that they were going to be in the game uh, according to rumors, here are the official details. We have brand loyalty. It says corporations vie uh, for control of the borderlands through military force. Their currency, weapons, their trade to death. Each manufacturer specializes in different delivery method. And we have, of course, Hyperion. First of all, it says aim down the sides to uh, take cover behind your weapon mounted shield and keep your finger on the trigger for increased accuracy. So you can see what's going on there with the Hyperion weapons. You're going to have shields and all sorts of cool stuff. Sustainable fire. So that's cool. And then it says this about Atlas. Step one, hit your enemies with a tracker tag. Step, stack, uh, step two, excuse me, wow. I was merging the word uh, tag and step together. So step two, unleash a hell of smart bullets that track towards your target. Step three, loot. Commence the looting. That's what the game is going to be about. Uh, then it says here, Doll says toggle between alternate fire modes depending on your playstyle, your predicament, and your prediction for bonus damage uh so yeah a wide variety of playstyle on offer for the weapons let me know what is going to be your go-to manufacturer we have malawan uh says toggle between two elements charge your weapon and deal guaranteed elemental damage with your finger finger glued to the trigger furthermore it says this uh torg it says Switch between regular and sticky projectile fire mode. Stickies do more damage if a bunch of them detonate on the same target. So, sounds like there's maybe some sort of combo effect uh, with that type of manufacturer too. So, that's cool. Uh, then this one is Vladoff. It says, augment, those, uh, augment these rapid-firing ammo-hungry guns with under-barrel attachments including lasers, rocket tubes, and additional gun barrels so these can be modified with uh some attachments which is freaking awesome to see so the weapon manufacturers are extremely unique from one another the jacob says deliver devastating critical hits to enemies soft and sensitive then joy puke as your bullets ricochet towards other targets so it can ricochet and then also deal those critical hits so that's specialization with those weapons don't forget about the tedor i believe it is Toss your gun like a grenade to reload, then watch it pursue a nearby enemy as a fully loaded version of a did destructs in your hand. Uh, so that's awesome as well. So I am so impressed with the weapon variety already, what they are offering. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, but let's talk about the pre-order editions and all the editions here for you all. So let's do this right now. It goes on to, of course, Give us information about the standard edition. It says uh, pre-order bonus gold weapon skins pack. Contains a gold weapon trinket and gold weapon skins that are applicable to all guns in the game. Uh, and then it says this Borderlands 3 Deluxe Edition. So the uh, gold weapon skins pack is going to be also included in that. But it says this. It's going to include retro cosmetic pack, neon cosmetic pack, gearbox cosmetic pack, toy box weapon pack, XP and loot drop boost mods so there you have it for that one and then it also does continue onward with that edition saying the deluxe edition includes retro cosmetic pack vault hunter skins echo device skin weapon skin neon cosmetic pack uh and then echo device skin trinket and then gearbox cosmetic pack weapon skin trinket toy box weapon pack two toy guns toy grenade mod trinket equipable xp and loot drop boost mode so i think uh mod excuse me i think that's a little bit more detail uh, there for you about the deluxe edition just went into a little bit more detail all right but also uh did mention the uh gold weapon skin pack for that as well and then you have the super deluxe edition so we're moving on to this one you get the uh gold weapon skins pack if you pre-order that one so that's the pre-order bonus 
uh, for all of these, basically. And then it says, Deluxe Bonus Content Pack includes the, again, the Retro Cosmetic Skin Pack, Neon Cosmetic Pack, Gearbox Cosmetic Pack, Toy Box, Weapon Pack, XP and Loot Drop, Boost Mode Mods, and then uh, the Season Pass includes four campaign DLC packs featuring new stories, missions, and challenges, Butt Stallion Weapon Skin, Butt Stallion <laughs> Weapon Trinket, and then the Butt Stallion Grenade Mod. So this is one way uh, you can actually get the Season Pass, or you can go from the Collector's Edition, which is going to include the season pass as well as a lot of the stuff that we heard about before the deluxe bonus content pack the pre-order bonus content gold weapon skins pack but it also includes the diamond loot chest replica borderlands 3 character figurines uh sanctuary 3 snap model vault key keychains cloth galaxy map character art little graphs uh so yeah really cool stuff i am gonna try to go for the collector's edition for sure because i believe in this one guys i am so hyped over here let me know if you are hyped remember thank you all so much for watching for real it means the world for me if you did enjoy this video uh smack that like button always helps out don't uh you know be afraid to share it uh if you want to but guys thank you for all the love and support here on open world games i'm gonna definitely keep you updated about all things borderlands 3 totally hyped I imagine a lot of you are as well, so stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care.